One of the things that is absolutely essential for an author is a website. Now that makes sense because an author needs to cultivate their fan base and readers need to be able to find that author if they like the books. And these days, you're nobody if you can't be found online, whether it's you're on your own website or on social media, which we'll discuss in another video. So when you are starting your self-publishing journey, you need to have a website. Now, I'm not talking about a free website on wordpress.com. I'm talking about a professional domain that you pay for, that belongs to you, that can't be taken away from you. It's yours. It's your, it's your own piece of prime real estate on the internet. It goes without saying that the domain name has to be your name. It, you have to be easily found. So, you know, don't get fancy and have names that nobody will ever think about putting into, into Google to find you. So in my case, it's markoneal.org. On reflection, I kind of regret it a little bit that I have an, a .org. Um, but I got this website in, oh, when was it? 2006, 2007, something like that. And I just grabbed the first one that I could find. If I was doing it today, I would be um, a little bit more careful and I would maybe be getting a .net or a .com or something like that. But I've had mine, as I say, since 2005, 2006. And um, it's probably the best investment that I pay for every year. Because no matter what happens to your social media accounts, nothing is ever going to happen to your website, provided you keep paying the bill for the domain and the hosting. And your website is the one place on the internet where you can have all the information about yourself in one place, all the information about your books, all of the links where people can buy your books, uh, promotional graphics, uh, media kits about yourself, um, biography about yourself in case journalists want to read it or if a reader wants to read it. Uh, you can run your email newsletter from there. You can have a blog, which again we'll be discussing in another video. There are so many advantages to having a website that it just doesn't make sense not to have one. And these days you can get a domain for $10 a year. Um, with the hosting, uh, it, it varies obviously. Um, you can go with somebody like GoDaddy, for example, or you can go with somebody who I feel is a bit more reliable. I'm with uh, SiteGround, SiteGround.com. That's S-I-T-E-G-R-O-U-N-D.com. They're rather more expensive, but I'm a firm believer in you get what you pay for. So if you pay shit, you get shit. So if you want something really reliable and professional, then you should be looking at something a bit on the higher end of the scale. And if you're doing this for profit, then these things are tax deductible anyway. So at the end of the year, who would you much rather give your money to? The tax office or the web hosting provider so that you have a nice website? I know which place I would rather give it to. So once you've got your domain, once you've got your hosting, you then need to install wordpress.org, not wordpress.com. There's a big difference. Wordpress.org is the software that you can install on your own website. Now, a lot of these web hosts these days will give you uh, a one-click installer 
to put WordPress on your site so you don't have to actually manually install it yourself. You just have to press a button and it's all done for you. Uh, once you've got WordPress on, you then need a WordPress theme, uh, preferably a professional looking one, one that is customizable, one that is going to give you a lot of flexibility. I con I contacted somebody called Caro Beg Began. I hope to God I pronounced her name right. If not, I'm sorry, Caro. Um, she runs a company called GoCreate.me and she specializes in author websites. She gave me a... Now, let me look. I'm just having a look on my laptop here. She gave me a theme called... Right, it's... Uh, okay, it's Elementor for Writers. So you've got the Elementor theme, and then you've got Elementor for Writers on top of that. Um, Elementor, I think, is probably the best theme that you can put on your website because it is so flexible and so customizable. It's just amazing. Um, I will admit that Elementor has given me a few screaming fits every now and then when it hasn't done what I told it to do. But overall, compared to other web building tools, Elementor is probably one of the easiest to master. And if you look at my site at markoneal.org, you'll see that it's great. I mean, in my opinion, it's great. It's a great design. Um, it, it differs greatly from the design that Carol gave me because I'm the kind of person that likes to tweak things all the time, change things here and there. And so, you know, if Carol looked at my website now, she'd probably be like, what the hell has Mark done to this? Right? This is not what I did. Um, but if you want somebody to do your site for you, talk to Carol. As I say, it's gocreate.me. Uh, tell her I sent you. I'll pr I won't get anything for that, but um, tell her anyway. And yeah, keep your website updated at all times. Keep it uh, with security updates, with blog posts, with, with your graphics, with your information. And then you've got to get into the nitty gritty of search engine optimization to make sure that you are at the top of Google. This is another huge topic, uh, and which we will discuss in another, in another video. Um, once you've got your website set up, the whole process of getting it to the top of the first page of Google, that's a completely different thing. And it's a long term process. SEO is not an overnight magic bullet. SEO is something that takes forever and it, it never really ends. It never really ends. You, you know, it's a constant process. Every day you've got to do a bit more. So as I say, we'll discuss the SEO part in another video, but for the moment, get your domain, get your hosting, get WordPress. And then in another video, we'll talk about how you get onto the coveted first page of Google.